All right, October 2nd, Vlogtober 2nd. We're uh, walking around at the uh, World Food Prize building here, which is right by our apartment complex downtown. Let me get away from the uh, loud fountain so you can probably hear me a little better. But anyway, we're at the World Food Prize building, which is downtown Des Moines. It's right by our apartment complex. Just heading up to the store to get a couple things. Then we're gonna go for a bike ride later today. So we got some pretty fun things planned. We're trying to find a corn maze that we can go to maybe this upcoming week. We figured since we live in Iowa, there's gotta be lots of corn mazes or haunted corn mazes and stuff like that this time of year. So we're still looking. We've got a couple picked out, but we haven't decided which one we're gonna go to yet. So the video I put out for October 1st had a little bit of issues with the audio still. I'm still having that crackling sound in my audio with the GoPro, which is really annoying. Uh, but I think I may have figured a couple things out. I know on our recent road trip, there was a couple days where I didn't have any audio issues whatsoever. All the audio was fine. And I think it has to do with the battery that I'm using. So I'm using a different battery in this video than I was in the last video that I shot yesterday. And we'll see if there's any difference. Um, but if you're watching the uh, Woodland Cemetery video and you notice that the audio kind of goes up and down, that's because I'm muting certain parts of it or decreasing the volume to keep the crackling sounds at a minimum. All right, we're leaving the store. We got some road snacks. We got some uh, hot and spicy Beyond Meat jerky. If you've never had this, it's excellent. Even if you're not vegan, this is an excellent snack. Um, the hot and spicy is the best, but we also like the teriyaki, and I like the original as well. The original is more like a peppery, but the hot and spicy, by far the best. We were able to get this on clearance in Sioux City, Iowa for $2.79, but we paid full price today for $3.98. For a little stroll here there's downtown des moines in the distance we were gonna ride bikes but we scrapped the bike idea in favor of a walk today i'm still uh resting my foot because I, I just dug out a, a ingrown toenail so i haven't ran in a few days at this point but it's feeling pretty good today so i should be actually good to run here in a day or two I'm enjoying the nice weather nice view of downtown over there des moines river is really low right now All right guys, so as promised, I'm gonna show what we ended up getting at the store. It was literally just a few things. We drove all the way to Indianola to go to Walmart because um, we had been just basically going to all the different Walmarts in the area and scooping up all the different clearance items. And we were hoping that they would have some in the outskirts out there in Indianola. And they did have a few things as you can see. But let's cover what we uh, got over at Aldi first. Not quite as exciting, but we got some pineapple, some pineapple chunks. We got four cans of that. These were like $1.25, which is actually a really good price for uh, pineapple chunks. That's why we bought so many of them. Uh, pear slices, and then we got some peaches as well. I think those were also a buck twenty-five. I wanna say, uh, in the actual juice, not the uh, sugar water. So pretty good price for that. Sunflower kernels. 
we had to eat some of these with our salad for lunch but these are probably better than the ones that you can get at Trader Joe's and they're the same price. I wanna say this bag is actually bigger than the uh, bag you get at Trader Joe's for the same price. And in my opinion, if you have the choice of going to Aldi or Trader Joe's for sunflower seeds, you go with the ones from Aldi. We also got these little uh, mini cucumbers for pickling. We, uh, we actually pickle our own cucumbers now. We do still buy some pickles at the store, we uh, get the Claussen ones, but we end up reusing the brine and pickling our own vegetables in that. Got a can of crushed tomatoes. It was like a dollar or something like that. It was a good deal, so I just grabbed it. Okay, now let's see what we got. Oh no, this is one more thing from Aldi. We got this teriyaki sauce, stir fry sauce here. So, looking forward to that. Now, moving on to uh, the stuff that we grabbed over at Walmart. Boca Burgers were on clearance for $2 per box. So got a couple boxes of the spicy uh, chicken patties there. The Gardein Turkey Roast was on clearance for $8.20. So we figured we might as well just buy this now because otherwise we're gonna want it later for either Thanksgiving or Christmas and it's gonna be at the very least double the price if I had to guess. So we went ahead and grabbed it while we had the opportunity couple of boxes of these saltine crackers here. We like the uh, the whole grain ones, surprisingly, are actually better. They taste better in my opinion. A couple more clearance items here. We got these Big Sur breakfast burritos from Sweet Earth. They were 67 cents each. Probably should have grabbed more than just two of them because it's a heck of a deal, but we just grabbed a couple of them. We've never actually had them to know whether we like them or not, but they're probably pretty good. Another package of Smart Dogs. This is just something that we like to keep on hand. And Inga got a couple of these things of the vegetarian vegetable with barley soup. She really likes this particular soup. So we got a couple cans of that. Another thing of coleslaw. Literally just bought coleslaw in our last uh, grocery haul like a few days ago. But we go through this stuff pretty quickly. Um, yeah. Same with the lettuce as well. We have already eaten the two heads of lettuce that I showed in the last video. So we eat salad pretty much every day. A uh, couple things of Wiley Wallabies. We got the uh, classic black licorice and then also the watermelon. These were $1.50 each. And of course they're both vegan. And then last but not least, what I showed earlier in the car, the Beyond Meat Jerky, hot and spicy. It was $3.98 kind of a little splurge there just a little bit but well worth it okay I just wanted to show one more quick thing before I end the uh, vlogtober second video now these are the two batteries I had mentioned earlier that I was using a different battery today versus the one that I used yesterday when we were at the cemetery and the one yesterday was when I was having some audio issues so the one I was using earlier today was this this is the actual GoPro brand battery the ones that the one that actually came with the uh, Hero 9 and for whatever reason when I use this battery I don't have as many audio issues I'm not saying that it completely alleviates the problem because it doesn't as far as I can tell but I have a lot less issues the other one that I use actually I have two of these is this just I don't even know what brand it is here I don't even think it says but it's a uh, one I got off of Amazon and it's supposed to actually have more juice in it than the regular GoPro battery and stuff so supposedly it's supposed to be better hold more of a charge uh, last longer all that stuff however I find that when I film with these I get more audio issues now I'm using the second one of these in the camera as we speak but I have my uh, lav mic hooked up so that way if there are any audio issues while I'm using this battery I'm covered now normally when I'm out running around and you know hiking doing all this running or whatever especially running for for that uh, matter I don't like to carry the lav mic and the audio recorder and stuff with me so it's more one of those things that I, I like to use when I'm filming stuff at home like if I'm doing a grocery haul video or cooking videos or something like that I use the lav mic but when I'm out and about even when we were on the road trip and I'm shooting like camping videos or travel vlog videos or whatever you want to call them I don't usually use this thing probably should given that the GoPro Hero 9 at least to this point hasn't been 
necessarily the best with the audio and you could end up losing a lot of footage um, with the audio problems that it does have. So, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show. But that's gonna do it for Vlogtober 2nd. Hit the like button if you wanna see more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you wanna show this channel your support. We definitely appreciate it. All right, that does it for Vlogtober 2nd. Till tomorrow, guys. Take care.